scheduled fixtures the teams met earlier this month. Tom Pondelyak and Ivan Kelic, the scorers, in a 2-0 win at Knights Stadium. That's our Ericsson Cup match of the day. Adelaide City versus the Melbourne Knights at Hindmarsh Stadium. Our commentator is David Bashir. There's a big moment here at Hindmarsh Stadium. Suspensions to Adelaide City captain Alex Tobin and fellow defender Mark Yates has forced two changes at the back. The versatile Angelo Costanzo will partner Bradley Armour in a central defensive role. And coming into the side at left flank is Dino Manello. The Melbourne Knights, well, they've hit a purple patch of form with three consecutive wins. The Oli Roo series has made things tough. They've lost Joe Delicia in goal. And only yesterday, the club gained a clearance for 33-year-old Peter Schwellinger, who's been rushed into the side. Recently signed it, renewed his contract with Adelaide City, Angelo Costanzo. Manello, who loves to break down the left, turns it inside, but only as far as the boot of Zoran Markovsky. So a settling down period early in the match. Brad Hassel. Mori. Lovely turn. And here's a chance for Damien Murray. What a goal. Give this man half a chance and he'll make you pay. Goal number 18 for the season for Damien Murray. And it's just what the doctor ordered for Adelaide City. Well, he was presented with half a yard. He quickly made that into two. And buried the ball into the back of the net. This is why he's so dangerous, Damien Murray. One touch and just around the goalkeeper. And welcome back to the National League for Peter Schwellinger. He was understudy to Frank Urich a couple of seasons ago at the Melbourne Knights and had to cope with this one. Top right hand corner. Marth always very strong in the air. Gibson. Adelaide City up 1 0 after 11 minutes. Marth, a loose ball, and here's Deke. Still going, aren't they? Deke. Chance here, and a goal! The equaliser comes early for the Melbourne Knights. It's Ante Deke in the 11th minute with a moment of brilliance. And that really was inspirational stuff by the youngster from midfield. He showed a clean set of heels and cut a path through the Adelaide City defence. You can see here through Manello around Costanzo with sheer pace and the final touch caught the hand of Jason Pekovic but found the back of the net. It was set up off the deflection. Fortuitous roll there for the Melbourne Knights but they took advantage and Ante Dick showed he's a player of the future and certainly is a player of the present for the Melbourne Knights. Here's Trajanowski. Long range and a crack straight at the goalkeeper. But importantly, the gaps are starting to open here for Adelaide City and surely a goal. Brooks around the goalkeeper and may be accredited an own goal in the end. It took a deflection off Zoran Markovsky, but it's in the back of the net for Adelaide City. Mark it down to Michael Brooks. We'll see on replay, it took a late deflection. But that was a horrible mistake at the back by the Melbourne Knights. The clearance there from Ivan Jolic went horribly wrong. And the ball was played in. Michael Brooks took his time. Wrong footing the goalkeeper. Well, it didn't take a deflection in the end. It was my imagination. Markovsky got very close with the hand. And here's the number three, Ivan Jolic. Oh, and that was a cardinal mistake. One he would be uh, horrified to see on replay. And Brooks, as I said, took his time to bury the shot. And Michael Brooks comes up with a goal. Here's Murray from long range. Adelaide City threatening for their third goal. So it's been a fortuitous first half with three goals in 20 minutes of play. And the fans would be uh, suitably impressed. And... Uh, Looks like the left knee may be giving him some trouble as Manello is given some space down the left and tries it, corner, and he scores in the end, Dino Manello. Well, I thought he would go for 
for the cross to the back post and so did John Gibson floating in but in the end he thought well let's try the solo effort and it's come off in spectacular fashion Dino Minello the number nine for Adelaide City has shown his true quality and come up with a spectacular effort from a pretty tight angle and it's been a horrific first half for Peter Schwellinger in goal I think he caught everybody by surprise and maybe even himself Dino Manello Pondelac goes wide searching for the number 24 Trifkovic Kovacevic nice ball in and the header down by Drew John DeGelisa almost a goal there a fine save from Jason Pekovic and he can't believe it's not in the back of the net well it was an attractive build up against the run of play from the Melbourne Knights and the header was firmly struck and equally well saved and the second effort came in from Ivan Kelic Sousa. Jalisha Kelic on the edge of the penalty box. Kovacevic turns it wide to Jalisha and a lovely save there by Petkovic. It was a firm header and this may be a yellow card. That was an ugly incident as Sousa felt the ball was out of the grasp of Jason Petkovic but I think the replay will show otherwise. And it was a nice ball turned wide and a good firm header from Jalisha bubbled out and well my apology Sousa had every right to perhaps try to flick the ball out it was in dispute but it was a fine save by the Adelaide City goalkeeper overall the record has been fairly even when you consider the home record here at Highmarsh 13 times Adelaide City have won in 31 encounters, 7 draws and the Knights have won 10 and overall Adelaide City have outscored the Knights by 39 goals to 31 as compared to the 33 to 9 here at Highmarsh so certainly the Knights home record really compensates for that to poor away record Trajanowski, first time he plays it for Brooks, a one out battle here with Markovsky, here's Michael Brooks in scoring range and just wide well he could have had his second and ninth for the season Michael Brooks and went ever so close it was a lovely build up Kajanowski brought him in right at the opportune moment and he had the goalkeeper beaten but uh, just swung wide of that far post the Melbourne Knights still pushing forward and here's a chance for Pondelac outside the area and he tries the shot turned wide by Pekovic well they don't give up the Melbourne Knights they certainly have continued to put in for the whole of the second half and that was their best moment to score in the second 45 minutes Tom Pondelac produced it and Pekovic had it covered down to his right Ivanovic and the final whistle blown by Mark Shields brings to an end a very popular hometown victory at Adelaide City back in the winners list after